Well, hey guys, this is Ainsley here, and um, today I was going to show you a little bit more about how to get the most out of your spells. Um, I just came into my city, and I was thinking, gosh, um, I don't have a lot of supplies, and I should probably do something about that. And I realized I had a really great opportunity here to um, kind of grab a little bit about how I use spells. Um, I talk about this a lot in some of the chats uh, with some of y'all in the Gems of Elvenar, and um, a lot of times I hear, you know, folks talking about things, you know, um, oh, I don't really get that much out of spells. Are they really that great? I mean, are they really even that worth it? Um, ab absolutely. Um, in fact, you know, I'm, I'm, the more I play, the more I, I kind of end up making it a little bit more core part of my game. Um, spells are, are amazing, and I'm going to show you um, right now um, why they're so amazing. So I have 77,000 supplies. I'm in a little bit of trouble, so I want to get some more. Um, I do have some spells to collect. Um, I run my magic factory pretty much all the time. Um, I did upgrade mine. I, I have four slots. I found that to be a very worthwhile investment. So pretty much most of the time, um, my magic academy looks like this. And my spell bag looks like that. Um, whenever I have, you know, more than 50 or so of each of these, you know, I'll throw in some of these or some of these. I don't really use them that much, um, just when I need to. Um, but I, I mean, I make them more than I use them, and I use them all the time. I use them almost constantly, and you might say, well, how the heck are you getting all the relics for that? Well, you know, I mean, I play the map regularly, and I do a tournament every week. I don't go nuts on it, but I mean, I do enough to make sure that I always have plenty of relics to pretty much constantly run my magic supply, because when I do that, I get amazing benefits. One of those amazing benefits is an inventory that pretty much always looks like this, and with an inventory that pretty much always looks like this, an amazing benefit I get is it is really, really easy to get away with only four workshops. Um, that's what a lot of people would call a crazy low number, <laughs> but uh, I've learned actually to love it quite recently, and I'm not going to get into that a, a whole lot right now. That's a whole other topic for a whole other day, but I am going to show you how I'm going to get a lot of supplies out of these four little workshops. So um, I have right now, um, I did an overnight production. I did baskets of groceries. Um, sometimes when I'm in a crunch, I'll put them on three hours and then I'll quest for the next day. I don't like questing. I mean, I'll do it when I need to. It's a great tool to have in my back pocket, but I'm lazy. You guys, I don't like to just sit there and go through quests all the time. So I do it when I really, really need to, but you know, that's few and far between. Usually if I'm just upgrading like crazy or something like that, but I, I prefer spells and I'm gonna show you why here in a minute. So right now, each of these workshops is worth 3,463 supplies. I think we can do better than that, so we're going to. Um, I do have a culture bonus, which I need. Um, I wish I had it a little bit higher, but I don't. Um, it's a little bit slower day to day, it seems. Not a whole ton of folks been around visiting yet, but I do have enough to get some benefit out of that. Uh, I'm going to combine now the use of my culture spells and my workshop spells. So. I'm at 125% right now. I can probably get that to about 150, I think, if I have enough hands. One, two, three, oh dear, oh, four. I could stand, oh, there's another one, five. So five's good, I can get to 150, that's pretty decent. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm going to put a culture spell on everything that has already helped so that I know for sure I'm gonna get some benefit out of it, at least. Um, so I'm gonna put it on my uh, temple here Herds Gathering, uh, Masquerade Building, and then I think I saw it was over here somewhere, yeah. And I really kind of hate wasting a spell on this little culture, but uh, I don't know, 5% is 5%, you know, so I'm going to put it there because it's going to work. Uh, let's see, what else do I got? I think that might be it. Uh, maybe some of my fellows will be around in a little bit. You know, sometimes if I'm really, really desperate, I might start hunting some down and be like, hey guys, who is me open? Visit please. Um, and then I'll try to visit everyone I can who is not a gold hand because, you know, I'm trying to make my hands gold to them so that they're more incented to visit me back. Um, and usually that kind of works pretty well. Um, all right, anyhow, so I've got my spells now on all my culture items. So now I'm up to 150%. So let's see now how that improved. All right, a little bit, up to 41.55. Um, so now, if I put another spell on top of this, I'm gonna get not only the culture bonus, but then on top of the culture bonus on the regular payout, I'm gonna get now the 200%. So I'm gonna throw one of these on each one. There we go. Now we're up to 12,000. That's a much prettier number. Um, so I like that number a lot more. Uh, if I wanted to, uh, you know, again, I would get a pretty big benefit if I chased down some visits right now and I kind of waited a few minutes. Um, 
I'm not going to do that right now because I just don't feel like it and I don't need to. Um, but if I did, you know, as I see them adding throughout the day, I'm going to throw more culture spells on top of them. I wish I could really get an example of that um, right now. Um, and actually, you know what, maybe I will. I'm just going to pause for a second and see if I can um, track down a fellow to give me one more click so that we can see the difference that just that extra 5% adds. So here I'm at 150%. And I'm at 12,465. All right, so hold that thought. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I found a friend. <laughs> Dinah to the rescue. She said she's going to swing by and hit a culture. So I should see her um, pretty uh, quick. Um, you'll see. Uh, funny, you should ask about that. Um, but so I should get that into here in a moment. Let me see if any others snuck in while I wasn't paying attention. There she goes, Charming Tree. Okay, so let's recap. Right now, um, I'm at 150%. My workshop is worth uh, 12465 So Dinah hit my Charming Tree. So let's add another 5% and see what happens. Okay. So now I'm up to 155% payout on my 200% spelled workshop, and that um, we just went up 400 supplies per workshop. Um, if I kept chasing some clicks down, the really, really big bump is if I can get the obviously, you know, up to the next level, that 180%, um, then these would be more around like 14, 15,000. Um, that they're not right now, but I mean, you can see that every single click, every single spell I add, and I get them working together. And now that's going to last me all day, not just for this collection, that extra 5%, and it is going to add up and it's going to make a difference. So when you combine your spells and you put them together, um, you really get the most bang for your buck. And now these culture spells, they're going to last me like two days. So how many culture spells can I crank out in two days? Well, here's just over one day, I'm going to get two and then two of those. So I'm going to easily make up for like the six that I just used right now. I'll probably end up using up to eight or nine by the time, you know, and then they'll kind of slowly start uh, wearing off and uh, I won't have them anymore, but then I'll add more. I, I make as many as I use and, and more so because especially then with the tournament, um, you know, we just did f um, five chests. We know, we're a small small world over here in Sinia, so that's pretty decent. But I got, you know, more spells from that. And then, of course, I got the spells along the way doing my individual contributions. I probably picked up like 10 of each. So I make plenty, and anyone can make plenty. I mean, even if I didn't have my magic factory upgraded, I could still make a decent amount. I mean, I obviously wouldn't have as many and be able to run my spells as often, but I'd still be in pretty good shape. Um, so I'm going to go ahead going to collect those instant little supplies boost there I'm at 51,000 now if I want to sit here and grind I can really get uh, a good benefit out of and I can keep doing 15 minutes and then each 5% is really going to add up because it's going to start getting up to you know 16 1700 every 15 minutes but you know you don't have to I don't I stopped seeing my spells as something extra and I started looking them at just as an integral part of the game to use on a regular basis and it really took the pressure off to feel like I need to sit here and run them and get 15 minutes no I'm not going to sit here and, and run my workshops every 15 minutes I'm going to put it right back on three hours then if I want to um, and if I am not getting enough supplies and I need more I can still do the art taxes um, quest collection I probably won't because I'm lazy, but I could if I need to. So, I mean, I might do it at least once just to, to get a couple extra out of it. So there you go. There's a little bit of rundown on how to get more out of your spells. And I hope you found that helpful and can do an even better job than I did right here. Because, I mean, that wasn't a ton, but it was still an amazing benefit that I increased and added to my city. And I, I really didn't even use that much. So um, happy gaming to you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.